hello everyone uh, today i'm going to share about my experience in uh, in interview during gst examination and pi for examination so interviewer basically asks uh, some main topics uh, let's say for statistical mechanics they ask some uh, they ask about the phase transition and the behavior of uh, the things like cv uh that is specific heat and uh, that is uh, susceptibility and uh, magnetization etc this thing and also for in statistical mechanics uh, they ask for uh, something like uh, let's say for ising model uh, sometimes they ask for ising model uh, phase transition and why there is no phase transition in 1d uh, why uh, it is only for 2d and uh, something like that why it is not solvable in 3d uh, this these types of things and uh, in uh, mathematical physics uh, they uh, in matrix algebra uh, they ask something about the uh, let's say if you given a matrix and its determinant uh, is sorry in let's say you, if you have given a matrix and its eigen values are given then uh, how can we calculate your uh, calculate its uh, trace or determinant uh, trace is basically the sum of the eigen values and uh, determinant is the product of the eigen values this type of things and uh, mathematical physics uh, also they ask for a contour integral uh, in tifr uh, they asked uh, to solve a, they asked me to solve a contour integral uh, contour integral sometimes is a little bit uh, tricky contour not so much uh, hard but uh, some uh, little bit tricky contour integrals uh, they ask to solve uh, some contour integrals uh, next uh, nextly they ask for in mathematical physics uh, they obviously they ask to plot something at first uh, question is to plot uh, the at most thing to give an interview is to plot something uh if you if you can plot good then you, you, you can score good in uh, in in an interview so some uh, basic uh, fundamental uh, plots that uh, that are usually asked in an interview that is sin x by x and x ln of x and uh, mm, x square x square x square into 1 minus x one minus sorry one minus x or uh, that Lenard zone potential that is one by x to the power twelve uh, one by x to the power six minus one by x to the power twelve that uh, that that's the main thing and also they ask sometimes that uh, uh, L or ln x by x and uh, these things and also these uh, these are the uh, these are like the fundamental tools of uh, fundamental question in inter in an interview uh, sometimes they ask many more complicated curve also and just uh, to draw a graph you just have to uh, focus some special points that is uh, at x is equal to 0 what happens to the function at x is equal to 0 what happens to the function at x is equal to infinity what happens uh, to the uh, to the function uh, what what is the behavior of the function when x tends to infinity if it is uh, if it is discontinuous then what is its lim limiting value uh, what is that uh, what is the limiting value of a of then let's say for sin x by x its limiting value at e at x equal to 0 it is discontinuous as you can see but its limiting value is 1 and uh, some, something like that so uh, you have to calculate the limiting value they uh, sometimes they ask for uh, ask to calculate the limiting value of that function and also the asymptotic behavior how it behaves near the uh, near extends to infinity how it behaves near extends to minus infinity so these are the things so to draw a function at first you have to look for the special point special points and then uh, after uh, finding the special points what is the value of the function or what is the behavior if the function val functional value is not can not, can't be calculated then it's what is the what is limiting behavior uh, at that that points and uh, and also it, it, uh, you can calculate the slope of the function that is taking the derivative of that uh, function and uh, you can calculate the slope at different special points so by calculating the slopes and uh, uh, by calculating uh, the functional value at that uh, why at the special points you can roughly estimate the overall look of the function uh, 
the interviewer uh, don't expect you to ca exactly correctly perfectly draw the function uh, smoothly uh, as in as we plot in gnu plot not something like that they just want to know about uh, about the about your idea about your perception to draw the uh, graph uh, roughly so if you can if you just uh, give a rough idea about the graph that is uh, it is something like that or uh, like that so they they will understand that you know something and yeah it's a correct uh, answer so that's the main thing about graph so graphs are based the main very very important things uh, in uh, interview in an interview so you must be very careful about graphs so you just practice and practice graphs uh, so these graphs uh, basically are the common question that interviewer asks so uh, this is the uh, case for graph and then uh, sometimes they ask to solve uh, uh, for a Lagrangian in classical mechanics uh, so let's say for a simple question uh, let's say for uh, a see simple pendulum right if they ask to write the Lagrangian and also the equation of motion and what is the small theta v, uh, if what, what happens if theta is small what happens if theta is not small and something like that and sometimes uh, they ask to solve uh, some problem uh, like that a, a ball uh, which is density rho and a, it is a, it is floating on a liquid with density sigma and what happens uh, when uh, the ball uh, is going to uh, oscillate in that uh, liquid what is the frequency of the what is the frequency of oscillation uh, this type of question can uh, this type of question are asked uh, generally and uh, in statistical mechanics one more question that i forgot to say that uh, mm, that uh, partition function so uh, in, in sometimes they give you some system uh, let's say for uh, let's say for a system with uh, four energy states zero epsilon two epsilon three epsilon and what will be the partition function there are four particles what will be the partition function uh, something like that so and also they can ask uh, canonical partition function gun canonical partition function and what is the chemical potential uh, these are the things that uh, that can be asked in an interview and uh, in electrodynamics uh, uh, at first uh, when you go to an interview panel uh, there are several pa three two or three panels in an uh, generally two or three panel uh, in an interview board so uh, if you go to a panel uh, then they will ask you what is your favorite topic sometimes uh, uh, they don't ask but uh, generally they ask you the what is what will be what is your favorite topic uh, some someone says that electronomics uh, quantum mechanics classical mechanics uh, i always prefer uh, i always uh, prefer you to say that uh, the topic uh, that you do uh, that you uh, that uh, the topic that uh, that you, you are an expert in that topic uh, if you are ex if you are very expert in that topic then only you can say about the topic uh, let's say you uh, love quantum mechanics but you don't uh, don't do well in uh, quantum mechanical problems uh, so if you say that uh, i love i i um, i prefer you to ask a question from quantum mechanics that will be a foolish course that will be a foolish uh, foolish answer so always tell them uh, to ask uh, from the chapter that you are expert uh, from the chapter that you are expert that is uh, if you are uh, expert in electronomics then tell them tell them to ask question from electronomics uh, that's something like that so that uh, you have to keep in mind so always be prepared from all the topics and in electronomics they sometimes ask to calculate the flux from a uh, flux from a surface or flux from a cylindrical surface or something like that in hri uh, they asked me a question uh, if you have a charge rod and uh, at the at perpendicular position what will be the electric field at a arbitrary point what will be the electric field at the axis of the rod what will be the electric field and these several types of question that they can be asked and uh, these are the ask, these are uh, these question are asked uh, to me and uh, i have calculated that things and uh, so in electronomics uh, they ask you to calculate electric field uh, from se of several objects and also electric flux uh, that can be uh, asked and then in electronomics also they ask you to uh, draw the field lines also 
and there's a that's the main uh, theme and in uh, quantum mechanics that was the main topic in quantum mechanics they ask you to uh, solve for uh, they ask you to ba the basic question is from the simple harmonic oscillator and also they ask you to the wave function of uh, for psi 0 psi 1 psi 3 something like that up to psi 3 it's okay uh, and it's fine to it's it's uh, it's enough to remember from s up to psi 3 so not uh, not it is not necessary to remember after psi 3 or something like that and also uh, the the main question is to ask uh, they ask is basically the um, behavior of the wave function and how it behaves the functional form of the psi x for nth state and also the um, they also ask question from lazing and lowering operator why the lowering operator can't go beyond uh, can't go below zero and uh, something like that why the number is only your uh, number increases as integer in uh, the raising operator uh, this type of question are always asked in an interview and also in case of uh, the simple harmonic oscillator remember that thing that uh, for the simple harmonic oscillator uh, they sometimes ask that uh, what is the difference between the classical oscillator and simple harmonic oscillator when the when the wave function will behave like classic will behave classically uh, as we increase the n, it will be classically. This is the main question, main answer. So this this type of question are asked in electronics. They ask something about Jenner diode and the how it uh, works as a voltage regulator, how it works as a current current controller. So uh, these are the question. These are the an answer of that question. Jenner diode from Jenner diode. And uh, in electronics, they sometimes they ask about the logic gates and uh, truth tables uh, but it's seldom not uh, very much uh, important so in uh, solid state physics sometimes they, they asked about a semiconductor device how the band gap band gap ca came how the band gap came and also the um, semiconductor how it is different from other thing and also the uh, uh, band gap and eg uh, eg that is the um, band gap and from that part they, they will ask some question and uh, and uh, sometimes they ask from pra for practical co practical some practical questions uh, to differentiate between ac and dc and also how can we measure ac current how can we measure dc current or something like that how to different how to uh, mm, they give you some situation our practical situation and how can you solve it that they, they, uh, don't need to worry they are, these are the very simple situation and you can easily um, easily uh, answer it if you if you have some uh, if you think critically or think uh, some deeply think deeply so these are the things and from uh, uh, and these are the things that are asked and um, if uh, do if you don't uh, know any uh, know any answer of your, uh, in if you don't know answer of any question uh, ask that that is asked in an interview don't worry they will help you and they will uh, give you some hint try to catch the hint and if you can catch the hint you can answer every question uh, this is the main things that we have to remember in an interview and thank you for listening my video and i think this will help you and if this help you please share it and like it and also subscribe to my channel for uh, further updates thank you